Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my Ipsy unbagging for August 2018. If you guys want to see what's inside this month's glam bag, then keep on watching. Before we even begin, there is a product that I did redeem using those beauty points that you earn and receive when you review products on Ipsy's website. So before we go ahead and jump into the glam bag, we'll go ahead and talk about this product I picked up, which was the Delectable Body Butter Cream and Triple Citrus Blend. And we have definitely reviewed Delectable products on this channel before. I am such a big fan. We all know that I am an avid lover of Sol de Janeiro, but this is a second favorite when it comes to more so body care rather than just like skincare. This is for total body and I love how we and great they smell and they're just fantastic. It has shea butter, orange, tangerine, and grapefruit oil so that's what's giving it that citrusy vibe. So let's go ahead and <laughs> startle myself. Like it just it smells so tropical and so like you're kind of being taken away on an oasis somewhere. It smells so good. It is a little bit heavier, but of course with body creams, they are supposed to be a little bit thicker. So they penetrate deeper into the skin and leave it super hydrated. Huge fan already. Super glad that I saved up my beauty points to redeem this guy. And yeah, I always love when you get an extra incentive to review because you get some pretty cool products like this. So we have a brush here from Slimmest Glam and this says it's an SG62. I don't know if that's the name of the brush itself, but this is what it looks like. Obviously he suffered a little bit of dentine in the shipping parcel, but that can be fixed once I clean the brushes and everything. But yeah, so we received a Slimmest Glam, I think it was a highlighting brush back a long time ago and I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys. I love the aesthetics because it has that kind of like pink glitter in the inside and it's a little bit translucent. It has the two little diamonds on the top here. So just a, again, great attention to detail. It's a little curved, but that's totally fine and acceptable. And I'm hoping that I can fix them because I think it's just a matter of wetting the brushes and resetting him. I love the other Slimus Glam brush that I got. So I'm excited to add another one to my collection because we know that I love receiving brushes. Now that we can actually jump into the glam bag itself, let's go ahead and break down the month's bag and then what's inside this month's bag. So it's just kind of a canvassy, I don't know what kind of material I would call this, but this is what this month's color is and it has a little tassel charm up here just kind of again very fun bright summer colors nothing really to brag home about in terms of glam packs of the past but let's go ahead and open it up this month is supposed to be all about like confidence levels and things of the like of that and it's supposed to help you look and feel radiant all month long. So of course glowing from within, which I guess you can totally get the vibe from with this month's glam bag. And yeah, I definitely am excited to see what products are inside. Always be sure to check out Ipsy's website because they do put a ton of tips and tricks and different things that you can use for your products, like different tips on how to use a certain eyeshadow or something like that. So be sure to check out the Ipsy website. First item I've pulled out of the glam bag is from 12 Benefits and this is the Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. And this looks like it can almost be maybe a dupe or maybe something in comparison to It's a 10 Miracle Products because I was a big fan of those back in the day. I still am. And this, it has a list of things that it does. So like it seals colors, smooths, repairs, improves texture and manageability, prevents blood ends, moistures. It basically says it all itself on there. And this is just a hair treatment that you can use into your hair. Again, I think it's something very similar to what the It's a 10 Miracle product was. But yeah, if it's something a little bit different and maybe it's a cheaper alternative, I'm always down to try new hair things because we know that since going blonde and taking better care of my hair, um, I want to take better care of it. And with that said, you know, trying to find alternatives is always a good thing. Love the smell of this. I can't really explain what it smells like, but it just smells very refreshing. It smells like and it looks like it's going to be kind of creamy. So it's going to be like, you know, a deep conditioning treatment. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's literally the exler of like all your hair care needs. <laughs> so it seems. Next in our glam bag, we have a foil eyeshadow from the Balm Cosmetics. And this is in the shade color. Ooh, not it's not in the shade color. Ooh, but this is in the shade color Locked Up. And this is what it looks like. And this is such a gorgeous, like, I would almost want to call it smoky lavender. It's so pretty. Definitely see this being rocked with some smoky eyes when it comes to like maybe like this on the lid with like a vampy lip. That's got me super excited when it comes to the fall season because I just love fall makeup so much more. I'm definitely a big fan of this color and we know I love the Balm Cosmetics. It's not something that's shocking to anyone on this channel anymore. 
but yeah I'm definitely excited because the pan size is really big and it's a color that I really like so I know in the past couple months we've been getting products from Ipsy like shadows that I won't particularly wear but that is one I'm really excited for. Next inside our glam bag we have a glow to highlighter from Ciati London and this is an illuminating powder highlight and let's see this pan size looks huge. <laughs> this is in the shade color moon dust so it has a fairly big pan size which would go great with that brush that we received and this definitely has a very pretty kind of champagne rose gold color reflectant in it and let's go ahead and give this a holy go ahead and swatch it right here on the back of the hand right next to the eyeshadow and that is such a pretty highlight shade this is definitely more towards my color preferred when it comes to highlights because I have the Moonchild and the Alchemist and I have all those fun highlighters but I'm somebody like when it comes to an everyday look like something like this I think just a pretty champagne just adds such a gorgeous glow to complete a look. I really like this. It seems to blend out really nicely too which is a major plus because sometimes you don't want highlights just sitting on top of your cheekbones unless you're trying to connect to the mothership then I understand that because I have definitely been that girl but I really am a big fan of this because that color is something that's super complimentary to my skin tone. Last thing inside our glam bag this month is a lip gasm lip gloss from Trust Fun Beauty and ours is in the shade color text me which is this color right here. Truthfully, I probably wouldn't opt to pick this shade because it is a peachy color and for me we know how I feel about glosses and we also know how I feel about kind of like those peach color shades. Unfortunately we can't do a live swatch for you guys because I do have Jeffree Star Christmas cookie on the lip so we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of a back of the hand swatch here. My hand is so shimmery and I love it. <laughs> this is text me on the back of the hand here. It's not really good to tell a swatch when it comes to lip glosses, at least on the back of the hand, but it does feel like it is a little tacky, but what is else to be expected with a gloss though? Um, again, when it comes to the color, it's not something that I would probably pick for myself, but it is fun to kind of like keep within that summery glowing vibe. I'm definitely not a I'm not complaining about it because I really do think it is a pretty color but for me I probably would have preferred something else. To me it's just not a shade that I would probably grab to but I could be surprised. It's to say if it's a good gloss I won't hesitate to pick a color like that but we'll have to try it. That was everything that was inside my glam bag this month so thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like my videos and if you like my content and if you like me feel free to subscribe by hitting the button down below and getting notified when I post new glam bags. For this month it's definitely one of those bags that kind of has a little bit of everything which is what I usually prefer when it comes to beauty subscriptions like where you can literally dabble with everything. A lot of those things can seem to be working in co correlation with one another and I think that you know in all this is a pretty good glam bag. For this month's glam bag on a first impression I'm gonna highball and I'm gonna give this month's bag an A which is kind of shocking on a first impression but I will be sure to do a full blog review of all the products inside over the blog and you guys can check that out at life with Sarah or at sarahlock.com to just two k's. I will also be sure to link all of my social media profiles down below too so you can follow me wherever I might be. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Take care. Love you always. And until next time we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.